Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a trying new makeup. We don't have as many products in this video as some of my other trying new makeups, but I wanted to complete a look I had in mind with certain products here. I have a vision for this look, so I hope it turns out. This is one of the products that I have used in the past. However, it was re-released this year. So I wanted to start off the video with this and do another eyeshadow look and it's from Makeup by Mario. If you didn't already know, he came out with the Ethereal Eyes palette again this year. He relaunched it. So now you can get your hands on it. Both Sephora US and Canada have it and his website, of course. So we have such beautiful tones in here. The looks I've been seeing using this have just really inspired me and I wanted to use it again for this trying new makeup. So we're gonna start off with, I think I might go a little rosy today and start off with that in the crease just because the lip I have in mind, I feel like will match this nicely. So using a BK Beauty 202, all brushes I'm using for this video will be linked below in case you're curious as to what I'm using. Just going to put this lightly in the crease. If you didn't know, the mattes in this palette are actually different than the master matte. This was a brand new formula to Makeup by Mario and they're a suede matte. They're so easy to blend and just beautiful diffused finish. I really love this formula he did. I wish he would have came out with a new palette for me this year. This is beautiful. I'm glad other people can get a hold of it, but I wanna see more in this finish because it is so stunning. Working with a bunch of mattes in the palette, I'm gonna take this shade right here, go along my lash line. I wanted to do a smoked out wing look today. I'm just going to keep that close to the lash line. This color, I do want it blended. I'm not gonna bring it into my crease. I'm just keeping that first color we used and just focusing on making a smoky wing. This is a BK Beauty 210 brush. Just starting off very light and if anything goes this way, we can clean it up. Just really matters about the blend to blend it up. I'm gonna go in with this matte and I'm gonna put that even closer to the lash line. Then taking whatever is remaining on our pencil brush, I'm just going to run this along the top edge smoke out that color. Doesn't take much. These are very, very easy to blend. Just a very light hand. You can definitely make it more dramatic than this by building up the colors or even going in with a deeper tone. I wanna keep it really nice and light. That is just my vision for today. I'm just gonna take the lightest shade in the palette right here. This is a BK Beauty 203. I'm just going to lightly put this on the lid just to brighten it ever so slightly and just cleans up the look a lot by doing this step. Just for fun, I'm gonna put my finger in all those three glittery shades and I'm gonna lightly put that on the lid. I just want this to very lightly add that sparkle and shine on top of the lid to keep that lightness from the shadow that we just put on, just a subtle sparkle. I'm doing a more natural look for the lashes, so that's why I wanted to keep it fairly soft so that we can actually see how these lashes look on the eye look that I'm doing. I've already used that Makeup by Mario palette before. I have not used these and I wanted to get my hands on them for so long. These are from Kiss and they're the Impress Press On Falsies. I saw Steph use these a while ago and I was waiting for them to come to Canada. I found them on Amazon. They were on Walmart online for a little bit. I just didn't order but I got them on Amazon. So I'm like, yes, let's use these for this video. This is one of the things this is revolving around for new makeup. So I know these have been out for a little bit. They're new to me and I've just been really eager to try these because it has this pre-bonded technology, no glue needed, that you just literally press these on to your own lashes from underneath. So we're gonna test this out. It says it can last for 24 hours. I will not be doing that myself, but it's nice to know that they hold on. I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes. We're not applying any sort of mascara to these. So I'm just gonna go ahead and read the instructions before I do this. All right, so you just basically press and squeeze. It should be easy enough to do. And one section has long and one has medium. So I'm gonna start with the long on the outer corner. I don't know how many I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna play around and see. And I hear that the applicator can sometimes remove these just because it does have that stickiness to it. So I can see that totally happening, but we'll try our best. I'm gonna put on some music and I will discuss how this process worked after I'm done. Lashes are on. I honestly found that fairly easy. They feel a little 
heavy to me. I'm not used to having, I think, lashes this far in. And since it is so close to my eye because it's on the bottom, I can kind of see that when I'm looking. It looks fine when I look here. I can't tell how I look straight on quite yet. I think I might have to fill in my waterline just to make it so there's no gapping because some are on a different angle. For my first try, I feel like I did pretty good. Could they be better? Absolutely. That's just based on practice. Honestly, I feel like I'm really gonna love these and I would like it if they had maybe a short style. I think they have other ones that I could actually check out because I would have preferred a shorter one in the inner corner as opposed to a medium because I was gonna leave it at two longs and a medium, but I felt that looked a little off for my inner corner. I could have put just a little bit of mascara, I guess, but I decided to go with two and two just to show you how they look like for these press-on falsies. We'll see how they wear throughout the day, but I definitely think I need to at least line my waterline at some point just so that there is no spacing because I noticed that when I was putting them on. But so far, I think I'm gonna like them, honestly. And I thought the applicator was really easy to use. I'm used to putting on lashes with my fingers, but the applicator, honestly, you need it for this set, I feel. And also be sure to grab the lash, not the bonded area. I knew that going in, so I didn't get any stickiness. I didn't find it stuck to the lashes at all whatsoever. I had no issue with sticking or lifting. They just went on so easily when I put them on. For moisturizer and to prep the skin, I haven't tried this yet. I wanted to use it on camera. It's from Charlotte Tilbury. She came out with the Magic Water Cream. And this is supposed to be a lighter version. It's super hydrating, lightweight, gel cream moisturizer. It definitely has a different consistency than original Magic Cream, which I am a huge, huge fan of. So I couldn't wait to try this one out if it's gonna be a little bit lighter, maybe better for those with oilier skin types. So the packaging is different. It has this beautiful white top. I love the packaging of Charlotte Tilbury. I'm just going to take a little bit of the moisturizer to start out, apply this to the skin. Oh yeah, I can tell it is definitely thinner because this just absorbs into my skin right away. It feels nice though. Really nice, silky, smooth consistency. And I do feel like it's giving my skin more of a glow. Definitely different from original Magic Cream. I do like it though. Let's put on more. <laughs> my skin needs it. I've started to up my retinol, so my skin is actually a little bit dry in spots, but something I was never able to use before, and I had to repair my skin barrier, and now I'm not sensitive to it. <laughs> it's because my skin barrier was so damaged but now I'm just doing some skin cycling and getting my skin to a point where I just feel like it's better than it's ever been. I am purging though. That did happen to me <laughs> with the retinol use. This almost feels oily. I don't know, it has a slip to it, not in a bad way. It just it definitely has a sort of consistency that's different than Magic Cream. It has a slip. I told you guys in another video that I was gonna use the Drunk Elephant Be Goldie Bright Drops, but underneath my foundation because I didn't in the last one. So I wanted to show you how I use this. And I just put it on the high points of my face. So I just have a little bit on my hand. We're going to put it on the skin, on the cheekbones, and then a bit above the brows. It's kind of hard to tell because that Charlotte Tilbury product is so glowy on its own. But that's how I use it. You can see a little bit of a gold tint. Just gonna keep the hydration and a little bit of glow underneath my next product which is from Laura Mercier. I've never tried this before. They sent this to me in PR. It is their Real Flawless Weightless Perfecting Foundation. I have 3W1 Dusk. And I tried this out yesterday just to kind of test it out before showing you guys on camera. And the consistency reminds me a lot of the Rare Beauty Foundation. Kind of has that serum like finish. And actually because of that water cream, I feel like they're gonna pair nicely together just because the finish is so similar. So I'm just going to pump three pumps on the back of my hand. Not a lot comes out when you pump it out, so that's why I have three. I don't normally go that heavy. And I'm using my BK Beauty 101 brush. It just glides on the skin. Yeah, it feels like putting on more Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. Like, no blend whatsoever, no streaks. Do you see that? How beautiful it goes on the skin. Definitely that serum-like finish which just makes it effortless. I'm just gonna apply what I have on my hand 
and then we're gonna build it up and see what kind of coverage this gives. The first layer looks beautiful. You can see that drunk elephant underneath, but I am going to build this up. I love the glow it gives, and I just love how this goes on. <laughs> I hope you can see just literally how effortless that's blending in. So pretty. If you like the Rare Beauty foundation, this is the closest thing I can compare it to. I think you'd really like this foundation. If you use that one, very, very similar. And I must say, the packaging of this is absolutely gorgeous. I love the cap, I love the bottle, the shape of it. It's just so nice. I decided to go with a warm shade in this. Normally I go more neutral, but the swatches were looking a little orange for me, so I just I thought warm would be best suited. Is it a perfect match? I would say not, but it is workable. I think with my concealer is gonna be okay and powder. So I'm happy with the shade. And then I've never tried this before. It's from NARS. It's their light reflecting eye brightener. So I thought, you know what? Let's test this out. This could be too bright, but we'll see. It's in the shade Night Swan. This consistency really works nicely also with this foundation, it's so creamy. I know this is not soft matte, but the packaging obviously reminds me of the soft matte concealer from NARS. This is just beautifully creamy. I love the hydration and how this looks like underneath the eyes. It has about a medium coverage to it. I think the shade is really nice. For me, all I would need is a little bit of coverage just in this section here and I'd be good to go, I think. Next time I would pair this just lightly on top of a little bit of more full coverage concealer. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a little bit of my hourglass and we will finish off the complexion. I'm looking at this eye brightener and honestly, I just love the color of it and the finish. I don't even know if I wanna add any concealer. It's only because of this spot that I do. So I'm gonna balance both sides just a little bit, but otherwise, I'm liking this. I feel like it's gonna crease though, cause that's how creamy it feels like, but I will keep you guys updated. I feel like ethereal matches this whole combo right here. <laughs> like these are ethereal. The complexion, the eyes, I'm loving the combination. When I compile these trying new makeups, I try and think of what would try and look good together. And I just feel like this is gonna be it for me. Like this, I love how it's turning out. Okay. Very excited. So I'm gonna go ahead, set my face. What powder do I use today? I think I'm gonna use the Hourglass powder to set my face. That brightener definitely settles, but we're gonna do a quick set, have the Hourglass powder that I'm gonna be using to set my face today. You will see what I'm using for complexion. I have a palette and I just think this will suit the look that I'm going for. I'm just gonna do a quick set before we crease. And then using the same powder, just gonna lightly set the rest of the face. So that foundation feels extremely lightweight while I was pressing the powder in. That's one thing I notice. I do not feel anything on my skin right now. It just definitely needs to be set because even some sections I feel like I've missed just feels very hydrating. Next, we have a palette that I decided to pick up. It is from Hourglass. So I went ahead and got one of their ambient lighting edit unlocked palettes and I got the leopard one. They said that this one was closest to the elephant palette from last year. So I figured, you know what, let's give it a try. Has some beautiful colors and this is good for light to medium skin. I really love the jellyfish design and I know I could have customized this. However, that one was made for fair skin and I did get this from Sephora. So typically for this sort of palette, I use it as a finishing palette only. I would have a base cream bronzer done first and then some blush and add this as a topper just to kind of finish everything. Just due to the pigment and how glowy this is, that's my preference on how to use it, but I wanna show you with no kind of distortion of the color in this video. But I do use this strictly to finish my makeup, typically. Starting off with the bronzer, I believe this color was in the Elephant palette. I'm gonna use my favorite bronzing brush, which is the Smith 154. And I'm going to start to lightly bronze up the face. I thought again for this sort of ethereal type of makeup that this palette would work perfectly for the outcome I hope to achieve with this look. 
you never know for trying new makeup, but I do try and pair things I feel like would work nicely together. I absolutely love the tone and finish of this bronzer. I feel like it melts into the skin. It's so pretty. I don't need a base with this. I just do to use less of this because I don't want to waste it because this is a pricey palette, but on its own, absolutely gorgeous. I'm obsessed with the bronzer. Now for blush, I'm gonna mix all the shades. I have used Mood Exposure before, but for this palette, I do like to just go in and mix all those blushes together and then just start to blend this on the skin. Mix together, like we got pigment there. So those are the colors mixed, so pretty. And then I'm gonna go in with the highlight shade, which I love on its own. This formula is fantastic. But I actually mix it in with this setting for the face powder just to tone it down slightly because it is so intense. I know people use the diffusing powder underneath the eyes. I just like to keep it matte and just a subtle highlight. So I kind of mix the highlight and that together. That's how I like to use it. I feel like we're overall glowing already just because of the combination of the foundation and then the Be Goldie drops underneath. So I don't want too much. I already feel like I'm glowing a lot. So I'm just going to put a little bit of mascara on the lower lashes. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just use whatever is on my pencil brush, run this underneath the eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the lips now. I don't even think I need to set my complexion. Like everything is just working together. I just love how it looks. I love the eyes. I'm loving it, as you can tell. But I have two different kinds of lip products that I did wanna show you. I couldn't decide what it was gonna be for this video, so I'm like, you know what? Show you both. I can just wipe one off, put on another. So I did pick up that new Patrick Ta Holiday Gloss. It's so stunning. And I wanted to do the lip combo that I've seen Patrick do so much, which is with the lipstick and blushing. So I was gonna show that first. I know I've used blushing on my channel already, and then I picked up two of these, the L'Oreal Infallible. They're like a long wear liquid lipstick. I keep seeing ads. <laughs> for this, like everyone talking about them and they look so pretty. So initially I picked up the shade Road Tripping cause that's all they had on Amazon. And then I went to Walmart yesterday and they had this color, which was the one that I wanted. Let's take off this security tab. Probably why Walmart went off on me as I'm leaving. I'm not stealing anything. I paid for this. So this one is in Tropical Vacay. It is so gorgeous. So I'm gonna swatch both of them on my hands. I have to wipe them off right away though because these lock on, I'm telling you, like so locked on. So that will be my second lip option. So I'm gonna do the one that I keep seeing Patrick Ta do. And I really wanted to show you this plumping gloss. I love the formula. I'm gonna start off lining my lips with matte cork. Just do a quick line. Probably should have wiped off my lips, but I'm gonna be wiping them off soon. So using blushing. I have been absolutely loving just this color on its own. I was so happy about that purchase, but I keep seeing him top it with his new gloss and I did pick it up, of course. I wanted this so bad, even more than his face palette. So I'm gonna put just a little bit of this gloss on. Look at that color, it is so pretty. I was wearing it on its own yesterday. So that is the Patrick Ta lip combo. I feel like it suits this look so well, but I do wanna show you the L'Oreal liquid lipsticks because I have been really enjoying that formula. It is long wearing and I love how smoothing it is. It's so smoothing on the lips. So I'm gonna go ahead, wipe this off and then I'm gonna show you one of the colors on my lips cause both I think like it would destroy my lips and then I'll swatch both colors on my hand for you. So while I was getting that one shade from Walmart yesterday, I picked up these Equate cleansing and makeup removing wipes just because I couldn't find my Neutrogena ones at the dollar store and these ones were like, I don't know, pretty cheap, like six bucks for a two pack. I can't get past the smell. It smells like the chemical cleaning stuff that's in an outhouse as I rub it on my lips. <sighs> for colors, I'm going to be wearing Tropical Vacay. It's my favorite, but I will also swatch Road Trippin for you. So you can see the purple and road trip in. This one is Tropical Vacay, which I'll be using today. And I don't even think you need a lip liner with these. The applicator is really nice because it's pointed and I feel like you can get a really smooth, opaque and even lip application just with this one product. So no liner needed in my opinion. 
and they smell so good. So normally I would go with more so the Patrick Ta vibe to complete a look like this, but I wanted to show you these because I think the formula is really nice. Someone's sawing like outside my window. <laughs> Isn't that color absolutely stunning though? That also really, I feel like, brings out the green in my eyes. So that's the final look, no setting spray needed. I'm leaving it like this, I love it. So I'm just gonna go off camera, fix myself up, come back, and I will finish off this video with you guys. So here is the completed look with my hair and everything done, I got changed. And I have to say, just looking at this, I'm obsessed with this makeup. And I know it's not as many products as I usually show when I'm trying new makeup, but I feel like these all just work together to complete the most beautiful ethereal look. I'm obsessed with this. I'm 100% gonna recreate this. I just feel like this really brings out my eyes, especially this lip color. So I'm gonna start there on these new L'Oreal liquid lipsticks. I'll have the exact name of these linked below, but I kept seeing people do ads for these on TikTok and I'm really happy with the two colors that I picked up. And these, I love the depth to them and the tones. One's more purpley, this one's more pink. And I just feel like for a long wear liquid lipstick product, it feels really good on the lips. In terms of drying my lips out, I feel like still if I wore these multiple days in a row, I would personally have dry lips, but as long as my lips are nice and prep, you could see my lips were dry <laughs> prior when I was doing that Patrick Ta combo. And I feel like these are very smoothing to the lips. They look very smooth on my lips. So that's why I personally really, really like them. I got the one and knew I had to go back for the color that I actually really, really wanted. So. I am a fan of the formula. And then for the Patrick Ta gloss, I knew I would like this because I really love, I think it's called Full Syringe, it's the red one. And I did want this pink option. Every time that I saw him use it, I'm like, when are you gonna release this? When is this coming out? Cause I need this in my life. So I'm so happy to have this. I love how it adds that just enough pink to finish off a look with a glossy plumping look to the lips. I think it's just so pretty big fan of the formula. So I knew I would like that just based on color. <laughs> and then I've been really enjoying these Drunk Elephant Be Goldie Bright Drops. I'm glad I was able to show you just underneath my makeup, how it kind of can emphasize your foundation and just add a little bit more glow to the complexion. I think it paired really nicely with this foundation, which is the first time that I've used this on camera, but I did wear it yesterday. The wear is really nice on this. I love the packaging of this. And then the formula is quite serum-like. So if you like that Rare Beauty, as I said, I think you'd really like this. It's just very skin-like, very lightweight. And then these lashes. I'm gonna have to look at footage. My eyes could be <laughs> deceiving me right now, but I feel like these are so pretty and I'm very happy to have picked them up. I am going to get at least three uses out of this set. So I'm gonna have to pick up a refill, but they were really easy to put on. I will update if I have any sort of irritation. Right now, I don't have anything going on because I am sensitive to adhesives. So that was kind of making me a little concerned to try this, but I will update you if I have any sort of reaction to this. However, right now, I felt like it was easy to apply. Granted, I could be better at putting them on, but first time, I think I did pretty good. And they look so, so pretty. They're like the ethereal lash for this palette. Not technically new for me. However, I did wanna announce that he did re-release it recently and you can get your hands on it. So if you weren't able to get your hands on it last year, because I know it did sell out, you can get your hands on it this year and it creates the most beautiful, sparkly, ethereal looks. And I did a more light look today, but I love this. And I'm gonna have to go out places today, apart from just picking up my kids from school because I'm loving my makeup. I love it so, so much. I keep saying that, but I just, I love the style of makeup on me. And then this NARS Light Reflecting Eye Brightener. It is a little too creamy for me. We will see if I have any creasing issues, but I do feel like it did brighten up my inner corners really nicely and kind of worked perfectly for this makeup look. So I'm gonna continue using this. I hope it doesn't crease, but it is very creamy and I love the color for my skin tone. The Charlotte Tilbury Magic Water Cream, another beautiful addition. It feels almost more hydrating on my skin than the thicker one for whatever reason, just because there's more slip to it. But yes, the other one is definitely heavier on the skin, so 
Could I prefer this one more? Quite possibly, but I love Magic Cream. So I'm gonna have to keep testing that out to see if I really enjoy that. But right now, worked with everything. It was just one of those days. <laughs> and then the Hourglass palette. I'm so happy I picked it up. It is very similar to my Sephora Collection Micro Smooth palette. If that is something that you like those baked sort of formulas. I just feel like this formula is just slightly thinner than the Sephora collection, but for the price point, I'd still go with Sephora collection <laughs> myself. That's just me. This has the addition of one more blush and that diffuse powder. So if that's really a selling point or you really like Hourglass, or the packaging, then obviously this would be something to pick up, especially during the Sephora sale because you can save that 20%. But I do love it, it's fantastic. I see why people like those palettes. I've had one previous, but I gave it away to my aunt. So I'm really happy to have another one in my collection to play around with. And I think it worked beautifully for this look. I'm glowing, I'm lightly bronzed. The bronzer color is perfect for my skin tone. Tonally, this look is just, everything to me right now. I'm 100% recreating this <laughs> for the rest of the week, I feel like. <laughs> I love this so much. Okay, enough about that. You guys know I love the look. I hope you guys did too. And maybe we're curious about some of these products that I was testing out in this trying new makeup. Again, I know it was shorter. Regardless, it created the most beautiful full face of this new makeup. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If there's anything new on the market that you want me to check out, for my next trying new makeup, let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to know. But that is going to be everything for today. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with me, for spending some time with me, clicking on this video. I love you guys so much. If you have not subscribed already, I would absolutely love for you to join the family here by hitting the subscribe button, the bell to be notified of all my future videos, and I'll see you guys in my next one.